Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Owner of SAP Signavio Process Insights, and I will now give you an overview and a demo. But before we start, let me answer for you the most important questions. Why do we have two analysis solutions in SAP Signavio? The answer is pretty simple. Look at your car. It consists of thousands of components and sensors and creates millions of data points and events. And same is the case for your business applications, especially for the ones of SAP, and you have multiple of those. And if you want to get an out-of-the-box recommendation, then you use the tool of your car manufacturer. It's basically an app which um, is built with the knowledge of the car. And same is the case for Process Insights for SAP solutions. So we have built in all the knowledge of many, many years of experience. And that's why it's so out of the box. And if you want to extend for an advanced diagnosis and recommendation, then you go for Process Intelligence, and you can do that also for any solution. Let me show you Process Insights in a quick demo. So welcome to the start page of Process Insights. And it's not only the easiest way to get out of the box recommendation for your SAP systems, it's also very easy to learn. We have here an inbuilt help. And if I, as a manufacturing guy, I'm looking for the processes which are relevant for me, I see with the online help that, ah, here is the selection for the process flows. Plan to fulfill is exactly mine. And that's what I'm most interested in. Now I want to see which systems are connected. Here is the system collector. I, I see it, I get the explanation, the online help, and I can also see all the connected systems. Very nice. Now I feel very lucky and uh, let me explore this now on my own. You see the process flows are now filtered for um, plan to fulfill 42 process flows I have here in total in my system and production order until goods issue is the process I want to look at. So this is basically now the overview. Everything I see from manufacturing to the supply chain goods movement is depicted here. And I see basically uh, how many items have been created um, in each of the steps and what is then the final output. I can also show the monetary value of those steps. You see that is basically um, what it, that counts basically in money. And what is also nice, I see the lead time between the steps. One day from the order release to the goods movement looks good, but two days for just releasing the order is a bit awkward. Let's go into the details and analyze the lead time. So you see, first of all, the uh, distribution by order type, and you see certain order types take way longer, longer than the average. Now let's have a look into the plants um, and basically understand how that is different in the various plants. I spot right away here in PL09, there is a big um, deviation uh, against the average, and that is probably something I need to look at. And what I also could do is I could now easily filter for any of the characteristics I have here on the left-hand side and add this as a filter criteria. Let's pick the most obvious one, the company code. So you see here, these are all my companies I have in the system. I see that many of the orders are coming from Spain and um, some in Italy. Let's filter for Italy to see how the picture changes. Now, again, we see the distribution for Italy only by plant. And you see PL09 is exactly one of the Italian uh, plans, I probably should have a look at that. Let me quickly remove the filter to see the full picture again and go back into my process flow to analyze deeper. What you see here is also how many blockers I have in each of the steps. And you see with the reddish um, uh, borders that in that step, I have something I really should be looking at. Now, let me click on that. And now I find here basically all the um, most frequent blockers, and I can deep dive now into each of those. And the red ones are the ones which should interest me the most. Yellow is also interesting, and blue and white I might ignore for a while. What you see here in that second step is basically that we have certain orders with partial withdrawal only, and that we have also orders which have planned requirements in the past. Let's now go into that and understand how that distributes. 
Here again, I see the drill down by order type. I see basically that certain order types have a way higher uh, average percentage. And if I go into the plants again, then again, I would be seeing the plants. And also I see that PL09 is something like something I should be looking at compared with the amount of uh, items I have with the total amount of orders. It is not the biggest one, but it is significant. Now let's go back into the process to understand that deeper. And here is basically also the list of my um, improvement opportunities I might be having. So you see that I can also filter for certain types of improvement opportunities. So the improve on time in full. So if all orders are completely delivered in the right time, uh, if the stock availability is to be improved, or if the um, purchasing or manufacturing backlogs shall be reduced. And always you find here uh, the steps, the blockers, which might be relevant for you. So if I want to reduce the backlogs in purchasing, then those blockers, the yellow one probably is most relevant for me. Now let's select here, improve on time and in full delivery. And if I'm not so experienced with that, then I can also go into the analysis guide. And that reference guide basically helps me to understand what the improve on time and in full exactly is, um, what uh, results, how to analyze the results, and also how to do the filtering. And I can also easily switch here into the other um, opportunities for enhancement. And you see, this is all part for the analysis guide for all the improvement opportunities. So again, you have a very powerful online help, which is built out of the experience and knowledge from years of SAP running SAP solutions. Let's go back into the solution and now remove the um, improvement opportunity and understand what the performance indicators are. So the performance indicators basically allow me to analyze my processes with standard um, key performance indicators, and they are clustered by certain um, uh, categories. So the automation rate is something very interesting, the backlog, the changes, the exceptions, and also master data related uh, performance indicators and throughput related ones are interesting. Let's drill down now into production orders created. I see that those have also an industry benchmark. So the industry benchmark is looking like I'm way beyond the average of my industry. 16% is something not really meeting the industry standard. You see the industry that I'm in here, it's automotive. And again, I might be changing now the drill down or changing the filtering to understand that deeper. You've seen that pattern or pattern already. You can also remove the monetary value just to see the item count. And if you go for plant, then basically you again see the full picture of your orders created and the um, performance indicator for your orders created. Let's now have a look into correction recommendations. This is basically what I might be doing to enhance my situation. Uh, correction recommendations might be uh, having a high impact. You can see that here by the following column, but the effort might be really low. So let's say if less than 80% of your orders um, are really relevant for your MIP run, then basically then something um, is considered to be changed. And if I go here that, or if I go for the um, process in the, the correction recommendation, which tells me that I uh, should rather plan a regular background job to convert automatically my orders into production orders and to release them, then I get also the recommendation what um, ABAP report I shall be using for that. So you see, it's very hands-on recommendations, and very often it's also very simple to implement those. The catalog is huge of your recommendations, but um, uh, and basically that is the beauty of the whole solution. Now let's have a final look into the innovation recommendations. So sometimes the built-in capabilities might not be enough. You might be adding additional functionalities of the SAP universe. And if we now filter for the ones which are coming from SAP build process automation, then you find here a very nice intelligent product, production order conversion app. And that is basically an IRPA bot, 
which automatically converts Excel-based input from product for production orders into production orders and can also release that. And uh, here again, I find the information, what the app can do for me and how that improve my process performance. So that's basically everything I wanted to show you in a nutshell. Uh, let me highlight now a couple of recent innovations that we delivered in the past. That's the value analysis. You've seen that already in my demo that you always have a monetary value and the monetary value is being maintained here with a formula which is available um, and I can basically, um, sorry, that was the wrong. I can basically maintain here also the factors of. So you see, I have here the number of work weeks, which I can maintain the average time to uh, work on a production order and the hourly rate. And uh, with that, I can then also define the monetary value and also the improvement target for that KPI. Finally, let's have a look into the administration. Uh, you've seen that I'm able to manage um, multiple systems and also the authorization for those uh, systems can be managed. So I can exclude certain users from that system. That's a recent enhancement we just started working on. And here you see basically that certain systems are being avail made available only to selected users. If you have a broader user base, then that is definitely a very helpful insight. So let me summarize what you have seen and learned so far. Process Insights is the fastest way to uh, analyze your processes of your SAP systems. There is even a free uh, so-called discovery version available, and you um, can extend Process Insights with uh, Process Intelligence by using the plugin gain custom uh, uh, consulting service. And that is basically leveraging the existing connection that you have between your SAP systems and process insights for loading the data, for collecting the data and continuously making the analysis and the out of the box recommendations. And then you can take this over into your process intelligence solution with the plug and gain um, consulting service. So in a nutshell, the fastest way for SAP customers to take action and analyze processes is process insights and you can extend it easily. You have built in help more than 95 process flows out of the box with more than 270 performance indicators out of the box available, lots of re recommendations and innovation and corrections and built in high, um, help and analysis. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more.